There's this very weird opinion that I have, quite unpopular, but I'd like to share it with you guys. I want I want to hear your thoughts, okay? Validate me or tell me if I'm becoming delusional, okay? I really want to know. I think privacy is overrated. This surging urge to, to tell people how to live their lives. Keep your life off social media, keep your life private, don't overshare. Um, don't let people in on what's going on. Move quietly. Move like a snake. The strategy be. I I feel like it's too much. There's a very thin line between being private and being lonely. And not everybody knows when it crosses. Not everybody knows where the line ends. At least I didn't. So I'm I'm speaking from my own experience. <laughs> I've been in a situation where trying to be private made me lose out on so many things. I did not see it coming. I'll be sharing my experience and this idea is built out of what I went through at a particular phase in my life. Now, before I get into the story, I'd also like to add that I believe in seasons, okay? Life comes in seasons in phases and so every phase of your life or every season of your life comes with a certain challenge that starts and ends right i believe seasons start and end no 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 no, no problem is gonna last forever at a particular time in your life you will move out of that issue or out of that situation and a new season starts for you but one thing i realize is that the coping mechanisms that we learn or that we embody during each of these seasons or these phases stay with us in my situation i was in a distant marriage for a very long time for me it was a very long time it was forever i didn't think it was going to end at a point i had built certain coping mechanisms to help me through this phase one of which was privacy I was that person who didn't want to share anything about how her process was going. And people love you, right? People care about you and they will show concern. People will ask questions. People will have opinions because they want to know what you're doing with your life. Like, I mean, what's going on? They will make comments, sometimes a little triggering comments, but it's out of love. They want to just, they just want to be sure that you are making the right decision. They just want to be sure that your head is in the right place. But a lot of times I got triggered by those concerns. I got triggered by those conversations. Oh, honey, what's going on? Oh, honey, how long is it going, is it going to be? They want to know if you are making the right decisions. And so, in an attempt to keep people away from my decisions or to let people just let me be and let me face consequences of my actions, I started to put up put up this private facade. I didn't want anybody asking me any unnecessary questions. I didn't want people prying into my life. I didn't want I didn't want people talking talking or talking about things that would trigger me because at that phase of my life, I just needed encouragement and strength to go through it. I needed people around me who would tell me, "Don't worry, it's going to be for a short time. Don't worry, it's for a bit, for a it's for a better reason, or the future is going to be bright." All of those words. But sometimes people around me had other concerns, and so they were worried, and they would ask questions that would even make me more worried and more scared. And so, I would stop sharing as much on social media. I would stop hanging out with some friends. I would stop regularly communicating with friends and family as I usually do. I would stop being in certain certain circle or certain gatherings where I know that oh, if I go there, they will ask me questions. And then it started slowly and unintentionally, but I found out that I was drifting from an extrovert an introvert completely unintentional do you understand me i did not see it coming i just noticed that i was starting to become very quiet i was starting to become very laid back and i started to become a loner basically so in an attempt to keep my life private 
so I don't get people into my space. I was literally shutting everyone out. Shutting my friends out, shutting my family out, shutting my well-wishers out. And I did not realize that I was getting lonely. I did not realize because at that time it was working. Nobody was asking me anything. Nobody, if you even call me, I won't pick. So how would you ask me? How would you know what's going on? Do you understand? It was very effective. And I was able to get on with my life. And that season went not smoothly, but it ended. But then, like I mentioned, the season will end, but the coping mechanisms that you build will move with you. When that phase of my life ended, I reconnected with my family. This is years later. I had built a bigger family than I had then. I was thinking that, oh, once I reconnected with my husband or I moved out of that phase that I was in, I would just snap back and I'll get my friends back and I'll become that happy-go-lucky girl that I've always been. Well, I wasn't informed, honestly. It didn't work like that. It did not work like that for me at all. As a matter of fact, when I got out of that season, I couldn't find my real self. I became someone who was very anxious. Like, in social gatherings, I would be anxious. When my phone rings, my heart will just divide into pieces. Like, it was hard for me to flow back into society after I had secluded myself. I didn't quite understand why I was having anxiety over everything. My husband makes it means like, oh, let's go out. And I'm like, mm, why? Let's just stay at home. Where are we going to? Ah, let's go and visit this person. Uh, this person is coming to visit us. Ah, why? They should just stay where they are. <laughs> and it was so, it was crazy for me. Because I was like, what's wrong with me? And naturally, I'm a person who is always at the center of things. If something is going on here right now, if there's an event going on here, my natural self is to be at the center of things. Like, you must, you must just know that Annie is here. She must show herself. That is who I am. I know how to be out there. I know how to be happy, jumpy, loud, and jiggy, and all of that. But all of a sudden, all I want to do is just hide. I had to self-reflect before I realized that, oh, the privacy that was working for me, that, that seclusion or that skipping to myself that was working for me in other seasons, is no longer working now. Because in this season, I have a family. I have new friends. I have to bring people together. I have to chill with people. I don't have any reason to seclude myself anymore. Life is good, we thank God. But I need, I need those physical contacts now. Even though I didn't need them then. But it's not just a smack your finger and it goes back to normal and so i realized that sometimes except you are an expert at this private thing no people who are naturally introverts and they know how to keep their life private and at the same time maintain relationships maintain friendships and um, share on social media without sharing too much and they're just really good at it i don't know how they do it but i'm not talking about those people who are experts i'm talking about someone who is a natural extrovert a happy go lucky all day always jiggy and all of a sudden tries to be private tries to filter what they share, filter um, how much information they give, even their family members. Now, this is not just about social media privacy. This is not just about showing so much on media. I'm talking about for your friends and your family, trying to not let your family get so nosy or get so much in your business. But at the same time, be able to maintain a good relationship with them and not feel, feel depressed or become lonely. Privacy will steal a lot of things from you. Friendship is being one because you know how you feel like, oh, let me just be like this for now. When life turns around for me, when things change, I will come back like, dang, 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 dang guys, I'm back. But the thing is, the people who will be there to cheer you on when you get the success or when you hit that milestone, will no longer be there to cheer you on because you cut them off already. During your season, you had dispatched everybody like oh no i don't want friendship anymore i don't want friendship don't get into my life don't ask me questions and so they're no longer there to cheer you on but maybe they're there but the vibe is no longer the same 
isolating yourself is always not is always not the way out. And sometimes when you are being too private, you will not realize that you are isolating yourself. You miss out on a lot of things, especially in this environment where as an immigrant, if you try privacy in this kind of foreign environment, you will suffer. You will suffer. There's no reason why you won't suffer. Because tell me how you're going to get information. No, tell me. You will miss out on a lot of deals. Because there are lots of good deals that come out that people don't say out. You think everybody's on stream there now? There are a lot of things that people talk about in round table gardens when you hang out with your friends they will ah you don't hear about this thing i don't know i don't know that's how a lot of us thrive here opportunities will be flying you won't know no because you're trying to be eh, no no one relates with any nigeria no one relates to anybody i don't want to i don't want to uh, over <laughs> stay there isolate yourself and you'll realize that you are way way behind you are way way behind so, I'm asking and saying, first question I'm asking is, do you think I'm thinking in the right direction or I'm being just delusional? Does privacy stylishly move you to loneliness? One. And two, do you think it's easy or it's possible to completely snap back from being a private person to being a happy-go-lucky? So this is me just saying whatever you're going through right now won't last forever mm. yeah let me be the one to tell you that because i've had too many seasons in my life where i felt like it would be the end and mm, it didn't end here am i <laughs> and graceful to god but still experiencing more seasons right it won't end you will not end but that season will end but pray for the grace to go through it with the right attitude because it could affect your relationships, it could affect your friendships, affect your family if you are not careful. I hope you learned one thing or two. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Share it, okay? Please. Thank you. Bye. I've been so busy, but I've been thinking about